Why can't we explain how AI works? After all, we designed it. If we design and build something like a truck, we surely know how it works, right? Why are some artificial systems so difficult to explain? After all, we built them. We should know how they work. Actually, we do know how they work, but we have very little clues on why they make the decisions that they do. I'll talk about one type of AI called deep learning networks. Here's what those systems look like. The systems are modeled like simplified versions of the human brain's neural system. Let's specifically look at the human visual system that is a complex computing network. The eyes capture the image and the image is projected onto the retina. From there, as the signals pass through the network of connections through the brain, we can figure out what objects we're observing. When humans recognize a house, for example, the eye captures the scene, which is a lot of data. If you think about all the points that make up the image of the house, then that's projected onto the eye. As this image goes through subsequent layers of neurons for us to recognize the object as simply a house, the data is transformed and reduced in complexity. Just like how we have billions of neurons connected with each other with a gap in between called a synapse, the deep artificial neural network is a set of nodes forming many layers and they connect with each other. The top layer takes the input as the signal travels through and it transforms it in some way until it gets to the output layer and we're able to recognize the object that's being observed. The deep learning neural network is a very simplified model of the brain. What can change though is the number of nodes, the number of layers, the number of connections, the weights between these nodes, the transformation function at each node, and a learning rate. These parameters are called hyperparameters because they are functions of the network and they're not functions of the data that's fed in. Functions of the data that can be tuned include a number of data points you want to consider, number of training samples, the number of dimensions for each data point, and so on. And those are called data parameters. With this background, let's see why it's difficult to explain neural networks. I'm going to use a simple, though not perfect analogy. Imagine that you're designing a standard billiards table and a set of rules for the game. If you start out with just four balls, you can easily explain how your strike pocketed the ball. As you increase the number of balls, that's analogous to the number of nodes, change the size of each ball, which is analogous to the connection weights, change the shape and the size of the billiards table itself, this is analogous to the network size, the number of pockets, which is analogous to the outputs, the explainability of why a sudden ball fell into a sudden pocket becomes very difficult. Imagine an extremely large billiards board with hundreds of balls and hundreds of sizes, tens of layers and tens of pockets. This is why explaining the pattern of behavior in deep neural networks becomes difficult. Having said this, people in the real world like to know how the AI came up with the answer that it did. Lots of research is being done in this area. For example, we could look at one particular layer to explore what kind of patterns that layer is looking for. In the case of object recognition, the earlier layers may look for simple primitives in the image like straight lines and curves. The latter layer may look at more complex patterns that are a combination of these simpler patterns and so on. So essentially a car may be identified by the network as a car because it has certain range of curved areas, a certain range of circles like the tires and so on. So there you go. We may design a complex billiards board, but we cannot always explain how a ball is pocketed. Likewise, we can design a complex deep neural network, but we cannot always explain how exactly it works. That's why sometimes we have deep neural network incorrectly identifying totally random patterns as starfish, baseball, and guitars 
with a 99% confidence. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If you want my consulting help, shoot me an email. Thank you.